Hey guys, it is it's happening with Snooki and Joey. Broccoli. Broccoli. I am well lit, awake. Welcome to the show, everyone. Happy Friday. I have um salad in my teeth. Pardon. I just scoffed down a Trader Joe's salad. So freaking good. Well, welcome to the show, everyone. Um, welcome to what's happening with Snoopy and Joey. I'm eating salad and signing autographs. Oh. You am I famous? And you okay. are um you're at work. I'm at, I'm at work, unfortunately. Um, but I am. I'm having a little break. I've been sitting this. They made all these new rooms at work, so now there's like so many cozy places to sit. Now this room is very cute. It looks like you're in a sauna. It might a is sauna. See, like this is like where, like I guess the celebrities hang out. Like when they come into oh, the cozy. Floor, they get ready here, and there's Missy Mama on the tape, the, the bar right there. Miss Mom. And I'm sitting here in these nice little these plush chairs, and I was just doing a a TikTok um live where you know, TikTok. TikTok. Welcome to the show, everyone. Everyone, grab a drink. Um, if you're driving, you know. Put it on autopilot. Um, I've been doing Tic Tac today because there's a new thing called MPC, which is like, I think it started like in like, in like Asia or Japan or something where they like, it's like, they Asia? like Asia. So you're on live and like someone sends like, you, um, someone sends you like a, like a jelly donut and you go, mm -mm -mm, jelly donut. So sweet. So sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Mm. Dude, what? Purse so pretty. Oh, purse so pretty. Thank you for purse. Purse so pretty. Purse so pretty. You act, out, you act out whatever emoji they send you. Oh, okay. And people like it. So I was doing that all afternoon. And then I got, you know, that's kind of become tiresome. But apparently they like tip you. I guess like if you sign up for your account, you can get money from it. But I don't know how to do that. Are you hungover? No. Oh my god! Oh, because I saw you made nice martinis last night. I was so jealous of Joey last night. He, uh, his boyfriend ended up spoiling him. He walked into the house and everything was like set. It was like a freaking Hallmark movie, like relaxed, and it was really, really sweet. Can you tell everyone what happened? So I was like, only in the movies this shit happens. So I wanted to like we were gonna go to dinner. There's a new restaurant open up in my neighborhood, and I really wanted to check it out, but. Um, again, I'm moving in November. I know it sounds like a far time away, but I have to like save every penny I have because it literally takes $100,000 to move in New York City. So I like, say, oh my God, I have to save every penny I have. So I was like, you know what? I got to start making dinner at home. And I had all these steaks from, I, that I bought, I had these beautiful steaks that I bought and they were in the freezer from, um, from uh, Father's Day. I had them in the freezer. So I said, you know, I got to use these before they get freezer burned. So I was like, Maybe I shouldn't, instead of going to dinner, maybe I should just make something at home. So I said, like, all right, I'm going to go get some ingredients for steak dinner. So he took the, so he took the steaks out of the fridge. So I went, I went to the store. When I came back from the store, he set up the whole house. He put on this fancy music on my TV, on the YouTube screensavers. He put the beautiful um, Italian coast on Amalfi Coast, like, like visuals on the Amalfi Coast. So it looks like we're having dinner on Amalfi Coast. And he set up my two little, my two little TV trays, put them together and made a little dining room table. Put flowers, oh, so cute. flowers and candles. And you guys look like you were in a restaurant. Stop. He got my favorite wine. My favorite, my favorite wine, by the way, is Messy Mama. Messy Mama? Red. <laughs> but if I can't find that, um, if they're out of stock, if they're sold out, I like the Dew Soil Pinot Noir mm. from Oregon. And I put it in the fridge um, to chill a little bit. That's red. It's so good. Chilled red wine is the move from the summer. I learned that from my friends, um, Rhea and Fran that work here. Um, oh, you friends. But, so... So then my Speaking favorite, of friends, why are you hanging out with what's her name so much? The girl with no job, Claudia Oshre. You're Luke. literally with her every day. No, no, no. Like, but I didn't mind was, you guys, like, being friends, but now it's like, okay. No, I just told her that. No. The thing was, I had, she was her birthday party. She invited me to dinner, and then we already had scheduled her to be on, um, on Out and About. So she was already on that show. So, and then, you know, we're good friends. She's a businesswoman. Um, okay. So then, so we had a lovely dinner. I made martinis. I mean, olive oil martinis, Nicole. That's the new drink. I have to make you one. Olive oil martinis? The new thing. It's all the restaurants. And I've been using, I've been trying it. It makes, you know how you drink a martini? And you that kind of, sounds disgusting. It's delicious. It's the same thing. Olive as, oil? You're putting olives in it anyway. It's just, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the oil from the olive oil. Oil? But it's, it's olives. It's part but of the olive. olive oil. Yes, oil. Just like a what do you of, make chicken cutlets in? A nice olive oil, like a very fancy olive oil. Yeah, I'm you don't drink in that. Yes, you. <laughs> it's not like fucking Bertoli. It's like 
It's like olive, like fancy olive oil. It's it's like it has a, it's like a spicy peppery bite. It's fucking delicious. I hate spice. It's not spicy. Listen, so no, you I'll uh, make your martini, your, your dirty martini the way you like it, and then you take a couple drops of very expensive Italian olive oil. And then what it does is it rounds out the flavor. So, you know, when you take a, a, a sip of the vodka or, or gin and it bites you back, it's like, oh, that's strong. Like, oh, this just makes it so yeah, I like that. it makes it so um smooth. It's kind of dangerous because like it's, it makes it like round and like yummy. Um, It's just delicious. Try it. And it also looks very pretty in your glass. So you made a couple of those martinis and. um. And I had such a nice night and then um, but I did take a, a, a zesty resting bean. Um, what's that? It's just a little sleeping pill. I take my my unisom. I took one unisom last uh, night. I could not move. Like he woke up this morning. He said I was like unresponsive in the bed. Like he's it was like a brick. Like I couldn't wake up. And he has. What tried- is he used to take that? No, oh, he didn't take it. I took it. I was like a brick. So I fell asleep. Um, and then I couldn't wake up this morning. I woke up. I, I was supposed to be at work at like an hour, and I, I had like an hour to get to work. So I like woke up like in a panic. But you don't look tired. No, I look for, you know, I'm wearing makeup today. Thank God you're not tired. I know. Did you hear yourself nod off and have a stroke last week? Oh, my God. That was the funniest thing that ever happened. Because I'm, like, used to you, like, stuttering and, like, not saying words, right? Like, that's just you. But then it, like, kept going. Yeah. And you were just not speaking any English. And I'm oh. like, hello? I know. I was like, Are you okay? That's like when Wendy Williams, like, uh, fainted and she was, like, talking, but she was, like, she wasn't making Yeah, sense. she was, like, a robot. That's- that's what happened. I fell asleep with things. I had a fishing trip that day. I woke up at three. I, day. I wish we got that on the video because you would have been in bed laying down and you would have yeah, been yeah. sleeping and saying it. We would have actually see him fall asleep. Not out. I went through security cameras Freak. in the thing, but I do apologize for that. But I made it for a great clip. Everyone's been, it's been buzzing around the internet. Everyone loved that episode of us because, um, <sighs> you know, we were just being our true self, our true authentic yeah. self. If you guys haven't watched it, watch okay. last week's episode or listen to last week's episode because we didn't do um a video but i think at four uh four minutes was it at four no 40 40 minutes 43 43 minutes i think at 43 obviously listen to the whole episode because you love us but go to 43 and joey starts nodding off not speaking english speaking like alien gibberish and i really thought i had to call the cops it was ridiculous so i did um i do apologize (laughs) for that (laughs) Um, what else happened this week? I, I did go fishing. I talked, I talked about last week. I went fishing, but that was fucking wild. I caught a big, big kahuna, but tuna. Uh-huh. Um, cool. Gianni and I were texting all week long. Okay. Calm down. So Joey sent me the pictures of like the big fish that he caught. It was literally bigger than me. It was like two snookies and he caught it. He took a picture and I'm like, you have to send it to Gianni. Cause if Gianni sees this, he's going to freak the fuck out. And then they start like flirting and text. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we were funny, but he Weird. was saying that he loves fishing, but he gets seasick. He goes, he was worried that he can't go out to the shore, like all the way into the middle of the ocean because he gets seasick if, if you're that far out. No, oh, yeah. If Gianni spins, like does a circle like this, if he goes like this too fast, he gets sick. He's just like so easy to, I don't know, just get dizzy and he has bad vertigo. He's just like, he gets nauseous really easily. When we went to Disney, if you guys ever been to Disney, you go on the slinky ride, it's for children. Um, Gianni had to run off the slinky ride and he was throwing up everywhere. He was done for two days. So my husband is not good with like, um, like seasickness or spinning around or moving too quickly because then he'll throw up. So I've been obsessed with like the filters on TikTok. So there's a filter of a doggy and you put your eyes in the doggy and you see if you have dog eyes. So I want to do that after we're done here. <laughs> oh, it's happening. So you guys know we all love wine. So we have something cute for you guys. That's right. Summer is the best time. There's something fun going on pretty much every weekend from barbecues and pool parties, to family vacations, camping trips, fishing trips. And for all those occasions, I want to make sure I've got the best wine at the ready. So that's why summer is actually the perfect time to join First Leaf Wine Club. So First Leaf, we are obsessed with it because it, they make it super easy to get personalized wine boxes delivered on my schedule, on our schedule, right to our door. You get to choose the day of your delivery when your shipment comes and you can go out and have all your summer fun without getting stressed about missing a delivery because you know exactly when it's going to come. And to get started with First Leaf, all you have to do is answer some quick questions about your likes and dislikes on their website and their ex team will select a customized assortment of world-class wines based on your preferences 
Personally, I want all the rosés and white wines in the summer just because I drink them all day every day. And then they've also got terrific reds and sparkling wines, which you guys know we all love. We don't discriminate when it comes to wine and they have everything. Right. And your personalized wine shipment is delivered right to your door so you can kick back, enjoy the bottles you love all summer long, all priced lower than you'd pay at the wine store. Plus, every selection is backed up by First Leaf's 100% satisfaction guarantee. Like I always said, I didn't like Chardonnay. Like when I was going out to stores, I said anything but Chardonnay, ABC. But then I actually was sent some, I was, you know, I was open minded. So I said, you know what? Let me try everything. So I, I got sent one Chardonnay. It was unoaked, I believe. It was so enjoyable. So the things that you don't really realize you, you like that you actually like, you ended up liking. So I ended up liking Chardonnay again. But I like it because I discovered new wines I've never tried before. And they get my um my taste correctly every time because I filled out the little thingy. To make sure you've got great wine when you want it this summer, you got to try First Leaf. Just head over to tryfirstleaf.com slash snooki to sign up and you'll get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash snooki. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash snooki to get your first six bottles for under $8 a bottle. Tryfirstleaf.com slash snooki. So we have press next week. We're starting. Um, it's only one thing, but then the following week, we're going to be so busy. You guys, Jersey Shore coming vacation. Sam's coming back. You're going to get a sneak peek of Ron. So much drama and craziness going on. Like Vanderpump, who um, will be back August 3rd. Oh, thank which, you. Oh, my God. The Emmys came out. Vanderpump got an Emmy Emmys. nomination. They, well, Vanderpump got an Emmy nomination for Scandal. Like, <laughs> do you know how hard <laughs> we've been working to get an Emmy nomination? Like 25 years in the making. Ugh. I mean, amazing that reality is like stepping up and getting those things. Like kudos to you for opening that door and making it like amazing. But oh my God, like I hope one day we get recognized by the Emmys. Right. <laughs> um, I didn't know the Emmy nods were, were out there. Now is, is RuPaul's Drag Race getting nominated too? Oh yeah, I'm sure. And our favorite uh, show on Amazon Prime with the guy who didn't know he was in court. Oh, yeah, yes. four nominations. Oh, good. They just have everything. Crazy, yes. Um, Can we go to the Emmys this year on Red, Red Carpet? No. That's too uh, fancy for me. Unless we're nominated. I know. Um, but yeah, the Emmys are out, and the strike is going on right now. Oh, should we, wait, are we allowed to go on strike? Because we're, we're celebrities? We're actresses? We're not, we're not a part of SAG, though. I mean, I am for like a second, because I was in like two cameo movies. Um, but I'm not like... I feel like I'm not like fully. No, I'm reality. It's totally are you back after. Yeah, after. So you are. Um, you can watch strike. But I am on their side because I know like a lot of the actors are not getting what they deserve, and then like all these other people are getting their money, and it's a lot. Like if you really dive deep into it, it's fucked. So um, I think the strike is um, it's a good thing. All the celebrities are Obviously going to not for like work. People are out of work right now because of it. But I mean, they're trying to make a change for a better career. Well, apparently, because streaming is a whole, the, the, everyone's like, for, if you're in a movie like or a TV show like on like on syndicated, like what you're on, do you get residuals every time, every time her show airs? No. <laughs> you don't? No. If you're no. an actress, you would have. If you were in SAG and after then, when you, when you were in those shows, you would have. Yeah. Right, but they're saying they're they're saying they're only making like pennies. So like even like old shows like fucking like um like Mandy Moore, my favorite. Like I used to love Mandy when she sang growing up, and like um I didn't watch her in um. What is it, the I, you like I never saw that. But like yeah. walk to remember. Like I've always been a huge fan of her, and she did a post saying how um you know this is us would always do reruns and stuff like that, and she would only get like eighty cents. For the reruns. What? Oh, so, people want the money they are owed. I wonder if I get residuals from this podcast. I don't think it works for podcasts. Well, well the yeah. podcast, by the way, we're going to get our Emmy as, as well for that, for this eventually. Uh, and sad news for Joey. I am starting um, the meatball pod. You can't even it's get. It's gonna be premiering. I think it's gonna premiere August third, the same uh, premiere day as Jer the next Jersey Shore um, season. <laughs> well, like I said, I wish you and Dean are well. She's a fun gal. You guys have a great connection together. I mean, it's something different. It's not. It's not. It'll never. It'll never be what this is. 
And neither will your um No, it won't. Um No, it won't. It's completely different. Country uh accent shit too. It's not the same. <laughs> it's like you wish you well in your endeavors. And I wish Gina well if I have unlocking down time with you to record twice a week. Oh, I know. So I'm going to have to record on Tuesday with her and then Wednesday with you. Yeah. Can I show you this? Oh, that looks like it's from Home Goods. Probably. Um, what I was going to tell you. Um, what about, um, my, my, do you know my one year anniversary is coming up? With who? With my lover. <laughs> Your lover. First of all, that sounds disgusting. Um, it's been that long. Um, yeah, in August, August 25th would be one year. Ew. I know. So I'm Any trying to, plans? I'm, try, I'm trying to plan a getaway. I would love to go to Hudson, New York to the Maker Hotel. Okay. If, if I can make it. Are you, are you going to influence them? Well, I, they influenced me actually. Like I, I, they, like I, oh. it is like the most beautiful hotel in the world. And like, I've been there, um, just for drinks. I never stayed there, but I've been there for drinks in Hudson, New York, which I love. Why are we there? Visiting because I was there for a wedding. I've, I discovered it for a wedding once and I love the town. It was such a cute town. And then um, I went back, you know, just to kind of go for drinks and like and hang out. Um, anyway, the Mega Hotel is so stunning. It's so, it's very posh. It's like one of the best hotels in the country. A small little boutique hotel. Country. Certain room, certain amount of rooms, but each room is like curated, like it has like a vibe. There's like one called the artist room, one called the writer, and they have fragrances that for go. The writer's and, room? And they have a fragrance that goes along with each hotel room. Uh, it's the same owners as Fresh. You know, Fresh that the soy facial cleanser that, that you love, um, the fresh the skincare, Fresh skincare. They have it all over Sephora. Anyway, it's the same owners as that, and um, it's just delicious. So anyway, I'm trying to go there for my for anniversary if they have availability because they're very take um very hard to get into. Um, but I would love to do that. I and mean, the thing is, I'm trying not to go away too much because I do want to save money. So if it's going on a very big vacation. We can yeah. start an anniversary with a, with a new sectional couch. It's the money I'm going to spend on a fucking a, a anniversary trip, I could get a new couch or an end table or a, a rug. Yeah. Or an Spoilers. outdoor. So I think I'm not going to do too crazy. It's maybe just like a little weekend for um, the anniversary upstate where we can just drive there and have to fly. And can I borrow your car? My van, my minivan. But Gianni There's has sand all in it. I'm so annoyed. So you know what? how I hate the beach? Yeah. Like, I just, even though, like, it's iconic, like, I was trying to get on the beach, whatever. Yeah. In general, I just don't, I'm not a beach person. First of all, I'm scared shitless of the ocean. Like, there's, there's shit out there. We have no idea, bitches. Like, there's aliens and creatures and monsters. We don't even know. So I'm terrified of the ocean. And then the sand, like, I love laying out, but not at the beach. Like I like being in a lounge chair by my pool so I can like get up, go to the bathroom at the beach. There's millions of bodies. There's sand in your vagina, your butthole. Um, and then I hate when I'm wet and then the sand sticks to me and then there's sand all over my blood. It's just not fun for me. Okay. So Gianni wanted to go, um, on the beach cause we were down the shore. He wants to go down the beach to, um, catch sharks. This is like his new thing. Cause shark week's coming up. So he wanted to go, on the beach and um, catch the sharks. So he hooked up his drone and he was like dropping fishies out there. So of course all the kids wanted to go. So I had to go. So it wasn't like terrible because I made a drink, but um, all the kids came in my car and there's just sand everywhere, uh. all over the place. And I just hate it. So I got to get my car detailed, but um, yeah, my car's a mess. So if you want to take it, sure. But it smells like farts and sand. My clothes smell like tuner because there was tuner blood everywhere. And I tried to wash the smell out and it won't come out. So I had to throw it Disgusting. Yeah. You know. It's really gross. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing your makeup for the press tour. So we're also having a premiere party in New York City. I don't think it's open to the public. It's just for press. But I'm excited. We've yeah. had a premiere party since the f original premiere of the new Hershey Shore. Well, now they care about us because Sam's back. So I'm so happy that yeah. Sam's back because I feel like we always need a premiere party because we're just like... Yeah. We deserve it. When we but shoot these shows, it's like hours and hours of just like filming, being in front of a camera and it's exhausting and it's months of filming. And I just feel like every season that we wrap, we should always have a premiere par party with like the cast and crew, like everyone just celebrating 
the hard work that we put in. Yeah, so Opal and Joyer no. um, put, it to get, put together a lovely fiesta for us in New York City. So we're going to have a fun party. We're going down. We're going to go down to the. Um, what am I going to wear? That's what I mean. I, so I'm getting, I'm getting ready for all your glams. I haven't, we haven't done glam since, since tattoo. I know, you know what? I'm like, I'm so comfortable in my skin right now with not doing my makeup, doing my hair, dressing up. Like I love being cozy, no makeup. My hair is in a bun and I just, I'm not excited. I have to admit, I'm not excited to do the glam and like get dressed up and shit. It's for four days. You'll be fine. And I'm excited because I'm- Four I'm, days in a row. It's happening. All right. So I'm doing a secret project. You guys are going to find out soon. I mean, it's not anything crazy, but it's something fun that I'm doing. And every time I go, I don't want to look like a slob kebab. So I end up using my Thrive Cosmetics because literally that's all I use when I run out of the house. So I got my eye brightener. Of course, I got my um, hydrating lip tint, my waterproof eyeliner and my extensions mascara. That's all I put on. And I feel like a million bucks. Right. I love the brilliant eye brightener. I've been using Thrive Cosmetics for so long now. And I'm on TikTok right now. And every time I swipe, every girl is doing get ready with me. They all have Thrive Cosmetics. I'm like, well, I figure I, I, I like I we knew about them first and everyone's copying us. But that's good because we're spreading the good word about Thrive Cosmetics. It is honestly the best. I understand why everyone's using it. I love the eye brightener stick because. Um, it's a, like a crayon. You just twist it up as a sharpener on the other end and you can use it to kind of brighten under your brows, um, do it on the inner corner to highlight. But I was using that originally for brightening. Now they have 13 different shades. You can do a smoky eye with it. It glides on. You just blend it in with your finger and it stays on all day. It's crease proof, budge proof. It stays on all day. And I love Thrive Cosmetics because they have the Bigger Than Beauty initiative. For every product purchase, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help communities thrive. They have over 300 giving partners across the country for numerous causes. If you haven't tried Thrive Cosmetics yet, it is amazing. Certified 100% vegan and cruelty-free beauty products with clean skin-loving ingredients, no parabens, sulfates, or phthalates, all without compromising performance. Um, we love it so much here. We want you to try. So right now you can get an exclusive 20% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash snooki. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash snooki for 20% off your first order. Thrive Cosmetics. Everyone is getting excited out. for Snoopy to get glam again. I'm receiving, I have a, I'm sitting on a million packages right now. I want to show you. Everyone's excited trying to get in on this one. Do want to put makeup on Snoopy? So my first thing, Lily Lashes caught wind. I was doing your makeup for press. They sent over a huge box of lashes. I know you have your own lashes, but. Well, they sent it to me. Because I'm doing your makeup. Uh, <laughs> Lily Lashes, thank you for sending this. Snoopy will be wearing these on the red carpet. And on the what red carpet? Where am I going? On the listen, you never know where we have been into the Emmys. Also, oh, I want to go to the Emmys. Way sent over hair care for us. Oh my god, I just bought a ton of that freaking Sephora. It smells so good. I'm so annoyed that you get all this shit for free, and I spent all this money on it. You're rich. I'm not. And then Buxom sent us beautiful plumping lip gloss. I know you have your stupid glosses, but if you know, we want to try new glosses, these Buxom glosses are beautiful. No, yeah, I'm always open to everyone, you know? Buxom gloss, this is a pretty, how pretty this color is for you, Snoops. The same color. That's, that's the same one I have. Oh my God. Buxom, that's my favorite, this is my favorite Snoopy gloss. Buxom, plumping See, you know gloss. my colors. They sent a big mascara for Snoopy. Look, you're going to look so hot. And look at this. Nothing fits me though. I'm like so heavy right now. You own nothing. Fits fits me. You own three boutiques of clothing. No, clothes. I know. I'm gonna go shopping at my store and pick something, but I don't know. And I feel like um, I have an extra chin. Ooh. No, like I feel like I have an extra double chin. I think it grew. Do you want to start going on a crash diet? No, I just think I want to like eat healthier. I guess. <laughs> yeah. We eat a salad for lunch. Um, well, yeah, I love salad, but I feel like, you know, if I have wine or whatever, I'm like, you know, like when you're like two, two wines in, you're, you're like, oh, that. I don't care. Let me have the cheese and crackers. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. that's how it's been. I know. Um, yes, they will like, it. oh no, sorry. Opal's everyone's texting me. We're all, we're doing big, we're doing dinners. Um, like throughout the whole press week, I'm planning fancy dinners. I'm not going to fix any of my dresses. We're going to go to a nice place at my favorite restaurant, sushi and steak place. It's delicious. It's like a sushi, sushi steakhouse. Yeah, I want to make sure. So, if you guys like no press days, they can be crazy. So you start. So we could like have an important like live hit, calm down live hit. We could like be on the news at like eight thirty nine o'clock, and then we're doing press all day, like jumping back and forth to all these places and outlets until like six o'clock at night, and it's yes. it gets tiring. 
So yeah. I told uh, Opal, I was like, listen, I really think we need like a nice lunch break to like divvy up the day because I can't keep going back and back to interviews. They're asking the same things. Like I just need, I need a little break, a- AKA a quick a drink. break. March me. Yes. Um, and then, and then you finish the day. I like, I'm so excited. We haven't done this in a long time. We haven't done it like this and all of us. So it's literally all of us, like the whole cast. In a big van. Um, Sam's going to be here. So we're going to be in like this big van. Um, it, it's going to be, it's going to be a couple of days. They make me sit in the, in like, in the, in the trunk though, when I go to those events. No, I usually sit in the front. Oh, I do. Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. Yeah. We, big van, we go place to place. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. And, um, I'm excited. You guys deserve uh, a good, a good, um, welcome back to your, you work hard. Right. Thank you. Nicole, I can see, we can see everything in your glasses. You're looking at fragrance right now. No, I'm looking at um, Halloween stuff for my store. So anytime I'm on the computer um, and I'm doing this, I'm shopping for the Snoopy shop. So please tell me what you guys want. Uh, Sound off in the comments below. I am on our Facebook page and I saw this last night before I went to bed because I always check the Crusader page to see what you guys are saying. And Laura said, I am super thrilled for Joey's success. But I'm missing the early days. Oh, well, my, my so everyone said you changed, bitch. I haven't changed at all. I mean, these dot di- just it's just the diamonds, but he said, um, I so Hillary said I miss when he was selling those could I come in door hangers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? I have them. Um, you want them? I'll send her one. Wait, do you still have them? Yes, I, I only have a few left. They're going fast. Lindsay Don't said, I miss his Caitlyn Jenner voice. She said, Lindsay misses your Caitlyn Jenner voice, lip and cheek tints. Um, and Lear as a guest host. Oh, Lear. Caitlyn messaged me yesterday. That wasn't really Caitlyn. I don't understand what? what that post was. Was that really her? That was not. Okay, listen. She commented, though. You saw that? On yours? Yes. That was yours? Yeah, she commented on mine. Oh, <gasps> Caitlyn Jenner then- knows who you are. Yes, she knows who I am, but then it got deleted. What? I think Balenciaga complained and took it down. It got taken down for like false false information. Wait, so you made that? I made that, yeah. Oh my God, they could sue you. No, I didn't make the, the meme. I, I just reposted it. I, I, I posted it. Someone else made those pictures, the AI pictures of her. But apparently, I, I, it was like, yeah. oh, it was AI pictures. I think it was. So I posted that's, it. That's terrifying. Yeah. Can you make an AI me? I want to see what happens. Yeah, I have to figure out. I didn't make those, but I guess someone made them. So then Caitlin commented, LOL, I, that's not me. I, 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 she's Caitlin commented, I screen grabbed it, so I have it. But um, and then the picture, the, the post got taken down because it said it missed false information. So I guess Balenciaga caught wind of it and like said they didn't want like, you know, getting any more drama and I guess they, they had all that drama last time of getting canceled. Oh, Balenciaga is done. Yeah. Get so I think they're trying, to, they're trying to make sure that nothing bad happens. Uh-uh. I'm over Balenciaga. I gave all my Balenciaga stuff away. Same <laughs> girl. Me Mm-mm. too. Mm-mm. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Wait, so AI. So crazy. Um, you should do the thing with you and Gianni. See if your baby. They, everyone's doing their, their, their husband and wife and saying what their baby looks like, and it actually looks exactly like their real babies. It's crazy. How do you do that? It's on. Um, is there an app? It's an app. Google which app it is. Um, it's 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 um, AI babies. AI, yeah. It's so like, AI is terrifying me because it's literally the Terminator. Like, should, it, nothing good is going to come from AI. No, but like, every, um, every babies look exactly like their real babies. Yeah, I'm going to download it. But I saw this AI video. It was like a, um, it looked like an SNL skit with Tom Holland and Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj was like, what the fuck? It looked just like her, sounded just like her. Tom Holland, it looked like they were actually, it was actually them. It's crazy. There's one of Tucker Carlson that's so funny that's going around. Where? How do you make them? I don't get it. I don't, you probably need, a, probably need the computer for it. No, oh, you have to pay for this. Wait, did I tell but you? I- you have to pay thirty nine ninety nine a year to see what my baby looks like. <gasps> I just, I just bought it. No. Now we can't send the kids to college. I just bought it. Wait, give me your login then. I want to play with it. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll tell you what. Guess what I did yesterday. Wait, what's the app called? AI baby. Yeah. Okay. What did you do yesterday? The bay is always 
um, mindful of making making sure that I'm staying active because he doesn't, you know, he he wants to be around for a long time, and he so he doesn't care about my body. He doesn't care. He likes my body. He thinks I'm sexy. He wants just me to be like healthy. Uh-huh. And why he told you I'm fat? No. He um. So he's always like pushing me to work out. So I decided to go to the gym yesterday. Where did you go to Equinox to see yeah, Lumiere? Lumiere was not there. I went to Equinox yesterday. Oh, thank God. And it was really good. I did. I did. I did. Um, Ooh. you know what's great about the Equinox gyms? They have on the on the on the treadmill like the new advanced ones. It's a huge TV screen, so it's similar to the um. It might be a Peloton tread. I don't think it is though. It's a treadmill. I don't know what kind it is, but it has a huge TV screen on it. And I was, I took a walk through Buenos Aires. I was running through Buenos Aires yesterday on a hike. The best thing is you put your phone on the thing like this. And it wait, char- that's what that's Peloton. It has a wireless charger on the phone, the phone, wireless phone charger right on the, on the thing. So it holds your phone and it charges at the same time. Look at that. And your earmuffs too. It, it charges your earphones. It, 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 you can, you can Bluetooth your earmuffs to the TV so you never have to like bring your phone. You, you can bring your phone with you, but if you don't have your phone with you and you just want to carry your earmuffs, like each mm-hmm. one, you your earmuff, you can make your earmuffs listen to the to the TV. Um, so I ran for like two miles. I didn't ran. I fat. I fast walked uphill for two miles. I burned like a thousand. Yeah, you definitely didn't run. I don't need to. My I, I have bad joints. I can't be running. My knees will crack. It's happening. It's happening. All right, Mama, summer's here. The last thing you want to do is have to go grocery shopping, do an extra chore. You want to be able to just get home and eat your dinner and have a nice a nice meal. So take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh from Chef Crafted Seasonal Recipes and their new fresh and fit summer menu. HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Pre-portioned ingredients help cut down food waste while step-by-step instructions make cooking a breeze, not a chore. Make your home like the hangout place of summer with crowd-pleasing eats from backyard bratwurst bar to tangy key lime pie. HelloFresh Market makes summer entertaining a cinch, mama. Yeah, so I just got my box. Literally, the doorbell just rang before we did our podcast, and it was my HelloFresh box. I didn't get to open it yet. It's in the kitchen, but I cannot wait because I don't feel like going crazy tonight with cooking. So the fact that I get these pre-proportioned meals, step-by-step recipe because you know mama can't cook, and I'm literally done cooking the meal in like 25 minutes, and it's it's for my whole family and everything's done. Oh, so thankful for HelloFresh. So, and it's also peak summer produce season. So I've been getting the most delicious uh, uh, produce um in my in my boxes, I did a veggie meal once, and it has the most beautiful summer produce. Um, they have everything from calorie smart to protein smart lunch, lunch and dinner options, new vegan dinners to choose from. HelloFresh makes it easy to reach your goals, um, and stick with your diet plan. Um, with flavorful recipes and leaving you feel satisfied, HelloFresh wants you to have it all and free time. So, um, fresh, tasty food. That's what they take care of the meal planning and delivering ingredients right to your door. So everything you need is to whip a delicious meal arrives right to your door. You just chop it, cook it, and serve it up. And it's it's actually twenty five percent cheaper than takeout. So this summer, just cook at home. Get your HelloFresh box. Skip the grocery store. Yes, Mama. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Snooky50 and use code Snooky50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Snooky50 and use code Snooky50 for 50% off plus free shipping. So I uh, I keep talking. I'm trying to see my baby because I just paid $40 for this. Yeah. And then do me and my boyfriend's baby. So I ran uphill um, for like like, like, uh, 45 minutes to an hour and it was like, I don't know. It was, it was, it was 300, it was three miles worth. I think it was about 45 minutes. Then I did chest. I was going like this. That looks like Sissy and Lorenzo mixed together. The same haircut. I know. That's fucking weird. That looks like Sissy and Lorenzo. Mixed together. Is that a boy or a girl? Oh. Baby? That's How weird, weird is that? This is a, is that a girl or a boy? I think it's both gendered. They non-binary. Mean, it's a non-binary baby. Yeah. All right, I'm deleting that. No, do you mind now? Could you mind? Uh, send me uh, send me a picture. I need a face picture of you and then boyfriend. Okay, but don't do it in your... Take your glasses off before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> like, this is what he looks like. Me. Um, oh, wait, so, anyway, so then I did chest. I was doing chest presses. And I think... I you picked, don't even know how to do chest presses. I, I, I know what I do is I watch the people... What they do, and then I copy with them. They get, I sit there and I watch them. Why doesn't he take you to the gym and show you what to do? Clearly, he's like fit. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Yeah, he should train you. So I went. Um, so I do it. So I watch what people do on the thing, and then I just when they get up off the chair, I copy them. Baby, make a- Hold on, I'm gonna send you the pictures, and then we'll get to slip gossip. Are you the father or the mother? I want to be the father. Okay, that's the father. 
the mothers. He's the mother. Cancel. But you want to see what our baby looks like? Me and you? Yeah. Yeah. That looks like the baby I just had. Like Lorenzo? Like Gia? Other one you yeah, it was, the same, it was the same picture, but it would look off. So now off to celebrity gossip. So congratulations are in order. Who got married? No, someone had a baby. Lindsay Marie Lohan gave birth to her baby named Lua. Oh, did she show it? I don't know. The star 37 who wed um, her husband, last name Shamaz in 2022, has named her son Luau. L-U-A-I. How do you say that? Yeah, Luau. I'm going to ask Like a Hawaiian, like the dance. Unless she's going to speak it. Hold on. I'm all about the iPhone today. Yeah, man. Lowie. Lu Luau? Anyway, the family are in love with their new addition. Luau is an Arabic name that means shield or protector. The baby was born. Oh, is your man Arabic? I guess so. The baby was born in Dubai, where the couple lives, although his exact birth date is not known because it's a, it's a different time there, or a different day there, probably. Oh. Um, who would have thunk? Lindsay Lohan married with a baby. I mean, I feel like we were always a crusader for her. So her. I'm congratulations, a, did you watch a Christmas? Did you watch a Christmas movie she had last year where she played the rich uh the rich lady of the ski who, who goes skiing? Yeah, we talked about it. I love that show. I wanted to go when I get home. Um, everyone's breaking up. Oh my god. Megan Marble. Megan Marbles is breaking up? Megan Marbles and um Henry are supposedly getting a divorce. Well, good. She's fucking horrible. Why? Maybe she ruined that family. She, maybe she moves back to um no, because she went to she went to that country where she doesn't know anything about the culture and she ruined that whole the royal family. So she should stay in America where she belongs, and he goes back to Great Britain and marries a nice British girl. Oh my I god. This idea. Did you guys know that Christmas is only a couple weeks away? <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Wait, I'm so excited. Um I'm getting all my fall things. Fall candles are already out in Bed Bath & Beyond. That's me. Where? Your story. Oh, I posted you. Aren't you look cute? My I little said, Where am I? Um, um, no, we talked about this last week. I'm ready for fall. It's happening. Oh, my God. It's we. You know, I already I got it out of my system. I went swimming. I went down the shore. I didn't go down the shore. I went to Cape Cod. Same thing. I went to a coastal town. I went on a boat. Yeah. I ate seafood. I'm I over this heat. Can. I'm over this fucking heat. I'm over that sweating. That's it. I'm done. I got my tan. I'm ready to go. I, I want cozies and I want like I'm getting the new UGG platforms and I'm ready to go. I can't even get I can't even um, turn the oven on in my house. My tiny little house because it's so hot. Like I literally turned the oven on to broil the steaks up uh, to broil some potatoes last night. London broil. Fucking house heated up so fast. It's smoked up. It's like I can't even turn the oven on. My poor little air conditioning is the little engine that could. It's just, she's chug, chug, chugging along. She can't keep up much longer. I haven't turned her off for, for months. It's, my air conditioner has not been off for months. When I leave the house, it stays on. No, yeah, I'm over it, bitches. Oh, so Amy, Amy's mad at us. Amy, Amy. Weischer, Amy Weischer, she said, does anyone else not care that they take a few weeks off, but would appreciate a, hey, we're going to take a few weeks off or a couple weeks off. Bitch, we don't know that we're taking the week off. <laughs> well, maybe we, we should. We just have... don't have the time to do the episode. Well, maybe we should just do a quick thing. Like, sorry, um, we missed this week. Um, due to uh, un unforeseen circumstances, we will not be able to perform. No, but she wants to know ahead of time. Oh, I won't know ahead of time. This is pretty. So we literally know that day if we can squeeze it in or not. This so sorry, crazy. Amy girl. I'm um, another we're trying our best here. up. So fear regard. When we know we're not doing an episode, we say we're not going to be here next week. Right. Whatever, Amy. Keep going. In other news, Sofia Vergara and Joe, Joe, her husband, are waking up too after seven years of marriage. I saw that. I totally forgot they were a couple. He's hot. What's that name? Joe Mangano? That's Joy Mangano. Yeah. Um, Ariana Grande was seen with the witness protection makeover at Wimbledon. She was watching a um a tennis match and she looked unrecognizable. The star had the starlet had a new haircut, a hat and some mysterious sunglasses sitting next to a mystery man who ran who was actually gay. But her and her fian her husband are breaking up. They're splitting up. Wait, who's this? Ariana Ariola Grande. She's married? 
Yeah, she got married. Remember, she had a ring with two, a, a pear shaped diamond and like a square diamond. She had like a weird I ring. I have no idea. She's married. So I hope <laughs> maybe she'll go back to Pete Davidson, who's, who's in rehab for um for mental trauma. Oh, yeah. Weren't they engaged? They were not engaged, but they oh. were engaged for a long time. Oh, maybe they were engaged. Where is Ariana? I feel like she has such a beautiful voice. Why isn't she doing music? She is. Can you, she can you text her and answer? Let me see if she's answering. <laughs> oh, this is what I want to talk about. I'm so excited for this. Hold on. Let me check. I want the real name of the thing. It is called. I miss aliens. Okay. How exciting for me. Um, I finally get to see my peers. I, I know I'm aging out. Now I can watch a TV show and watch my people my age. Um, and I can relate to them. The brand new Bachelor season was just announced. And it's a Bachelor Gold. It's called the Golden Bachelor. It's Senior Citizens. Okay. So How my exciting. I don't want to watch my grandmother making out. Do you know it's like 75 plus? Yes, I'm so excited. You know what? Also, I feel like people that are going to be on the show, they're 75, but they look freaking 40 because this they take care of themselves. Than me. So Jerry yeah, Turner, like it? they don't look like a grandpa. All right. So this is Jerry Turner. And this is his picture, everyone. Turner. He's 71 years old. He does not look 71. He does not look 71. That's what I'm saying. So that's Jerry Turner. He's ready to find the love of his life. The 71-year-old was announced as a He's star. He's going to die tomorrow. Star of ABC's new Bachelor spinoff show called The Golden Bachelor in July 2020. According to the network, the father of Wait. two is a hopeless romantic looking for someone to share his sunset years with. Doesn't that remind you of Golden Shower? Kind of, but I like it. I don't like Golden. It's never too late to fall in love again, Turner said during an appearance on... It's happening podcast with Snoopy and Joey. Don't give up. There's always possibilities. Turner said when he was pushed to join the show by his two daughters after the mother, mother. died through the pressure. He could make a man nervous. Um, he told you when America, the first elderly man to lead the show feels amazing. And it's still sinking in. And um, while has yet to reveal the women, um, women. Part, the new leading man said he's looking for someone high energy. I'd love to find a partner who's, who's high energy. Someone who is high energy, maybe plays pickleball. Or maybe plays golf. Pickleball. The Golden Match will premiere this fall on ABC, where Turner was about to meet a woman with a lifetime experience living through love, loss, uh, loss, and laughter. Hopefully, it's sparking. Okay, so if it's premiering this fall, it already happened. We got to find the scoop. We got to find the scoop. So I'm excited. Maybe one of our producer friends worked on it. I'm sure they did. But you know what I'm excited about these ladies is I think it's going to be fucking hysterical. Think about the Golden Girls. How like how cutthroat. When you're older, you say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, you don't give a shit. You don't mm -hmm. give a shit. So I'm excited for these ladies to be like ruthless. You know, they're not going to be like these thirsty thoughts, like trying to get Instagram followers on. Yeah. You know, be like, you know, just be just there for the attention or like being these women are like, you know, going to bring a, a whole new level of thing. I think it's going to be the most entertaining thing, like an unexpected, entertaining thing. Like, and they're not going to be grannies. They're going to be like sexy. Like, no, like, they're going to be hot. Grannies. And if this, if this guy, Jerry Turner, is this put together and it's good looking in his 70s, it's going to be like women like that are in their seventies that you would never think like who's like an older actress. That's like, Oh my God, she's 70 years old. You know, like fucking. Um, <coughs> wait, there's a ton of women that I think. Yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, she looks Bonda, amazing. Kate and Bonda. then I see. Oh yeah. And then they're like 80 years old. I'm like, how are you 80 years old? Yeah. Um, Christy Brinkley, who's like in her sixties uh, or seventies, who's fucking stunning. Like these women. So there can be hot girls. Um, Looking great for their age. That's of course that'll be the thing. But I think they're going to bring a new experience. People, they've been married. These people, these people are the regular ones, young people looking for love for the first time. They're dumb. They're just looking for the wrong things. Like I just want to get find a rich guy to like promote my business. I want to go on the show to promote my business. I want to find a rich guy to kind of sweep me off my feet. These women have been married. They have children. Their their husbands are di dead. They live basically their life. So this is going to bring a whole new aspect of like you know learning about later on in life. You know about love at that age, like, you know? And I, maybe this is giving me a new perspective for Poppy to me finding love. It's happening. it's happening! Summer's the time to make memories with your children, whether you're staying home or heading out on adventures. KiwiCo invites kids and kids at heart to celebrate the season of discovery through hands-on fun. KiwiCo delivers monthly science and art projects that turn curiosity into creativity. From creating giant bubbles to experimenting with ice cream, 
Kids will learn serious fun in a hands-on way. There's something for everyone. Discover subscription lines for kids of all ages, ranging from infants like Squishy all the way up to preschoolers like Sissy and uh, all the way to teens like me. Yeah, so I'm obsessed with KiwiCo as a parent just because it encourages my kids to get outside and explore, keeps them off the screens. They're not on the iPad all the time. They're not on their phone. They're not playing video games. They have awesome projects from the KiwiCo store, um, like the bottle rocket kit that Lorenzo just got. So you can turn the outdoors into a playground of learning and fun, and they can be outside, not on the electronics. And plus, KiwiCo makes it easy to take discovery on the go. So I'm always traveling to the shore house and then to my house. So everything you need is in the crate, including materials um, and easy to follow instructions for us and the kids. It's the perfect travel board and buster for the entire family. So this definitely helps us because we're always going back and forth because it's summertime and we want to go down to the beach. Yeah, I understand. And they also, if your kids are still learning, you know, in the summertime, they kind of check out their brains and just want to focus on fun. This is still fun and creativity, but you're actually learning how things work, the engineering behind how the products work. So they're actually learning during uh, summer as well. So have an awesome summer with KiwiCo and get your crates today. Get 50% off your first month plus free shipping on any crate line with code Snooki at KiwiCo.com. That's 50% off your first month at KiwiCo.com and use promo code Snooki. That's KiwiCo, K-I-W-I-C-O.com. Promo code Snooki for 50% off your first month and free shipping. Here we go. Hmm. Poppy could be the next Golden Bachelor. Can you imagine? Imagine. That'd be fun. I have to get him a spray tan like Jerry Turner has. Um, but I'm really excited about it because it's going to be something new. I hope, I think it'll be entertaining. Just kind of give everyone hope. And I, I hope it's funny. I think I think, I think think all the superficial things we think of when we're younger looking for love, it all when it, it comes down to it, none of that shit matters about, you know, their job and like the career, like, you know, if they're this tall or if they make this much money or if they have like this thing, you know how like, women have these long ass lists and they're still fucking single because they're like, so picky. I think it's going to give it up. Oh, so- I had one of those lists. Remember? Well, you were one of the lucky ones. You you, you got, you got, got everything for your list, but I think it's no, gonna, I- everything in perspective that, you know, the, the, don't sweat the small stuff and people there's, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a great thing. I'm excited for it. Hear ye, hear ye. In other news, Two best friends in a room. They might kiss. No. Um, so a, 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 um, a reconciliation, was it called? A rekindling or a... Re- reconciliation? Or reconciliation? No, re- I guess reconciliation or a, you know, they finally came back together. Kyle oh, yeah. and Jordan Woods were seen kikiing in Los Angeles together. Oh, <gasps> really? Yes, they're back together as best friends. So they must have been texting for months. I think they've been like in... in, 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 in um involved each other for months but they finally had an outing together they showed up together in the same car and went out to dinner together oh yeah that always made me sad everything that went down because i feel like they were like truly best friends and like you know like soulmate best friends like you don't find that too often so that made me sad that they broke up me too if you know what we're talking about it was jordan woods is kylie jenner's best friend they were living together and and then jordan woods was drunk at a party and made out with tristan thompson um who is chloe's baby daddy and then they were estranged. They, you know, they were, you know, they uh, didn't talk and they, she moved out of the house and they didn't talk. Um, I think Kylie's probably, I mean, uh, Kendall's, what's your name? Jordan? No, Chloe, I think is kind of over it. I mean, she has two babies with him now. And I think she finally saw his true colors and maybe realized it wasn't Jordan. It was always him. And he was the scumbag, not her. Even though it's just a shitty move that she did that. Like I would never make out with Johnny. Um, but it's like, it, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm just glad they were able to reconsider re- re- reconsider each other. Make amends. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier with The Bachelor, at the end of the day, the small stuff, don't sweat it. If uh, you're really meant to be friends, you're meant to be friends. So I'm glad they're back together. And um, but a lot of people are warning. A lot of people are warning um, Jordan saying, don't go back to her. You don't need the Kardashians. Make your own path. Don't don't go back there. Just kind of dull your shine. They're just going to dull your shine and put you in the back seat. Like, yeah. I don't think it's about that for her. No, and I feel like she's already her own person. She doesn't need them. Do you remember the Island Boys? We the Island Boys. Oh yeah, they made out. They do more than make out. I've what seen. Do you them. Mean? They have they, twins. They have sex on the internet together. No, they don't. Shelby. Yes, they do. I have pictures. Shall we? On their OnlyFans, they jerk off together and play with their dicks in front of each other. No. Yes. They're siblings. They're twins. And they show their assholes. They, they they sit by each other side by side and masturbate together and touch each other's dickheads together. 
and they touch each other coolies. They make out while they're jerking off. It's disgusting. They're doing it for money. These men are. These no, are lying. I'm not lying. Google it. I, I don't want. They're bullies and assholes. Are all over the internet, and they're pishka deals. And they're doing it's it's all about it's all the rage. They're they, they're such sellouts, you know. They they're making out with each other for money on their OnlyFans. That's oh my god, that's like incest. That's disgusting. It is. It's in it's illegal in most states, I believe. So how are they not arrested? I don't think it's illegal. It's just disgusting and like untasteful, like gross. There's been an arrest. Gigi Marie Hadid has been arrested. <gasps> oh, the Cayman Islands. Where can we get that? Where can we get that product? The Snoopy shop. What does it have? What does it have? Glitter in it? Uh, shimmer moisturizer. Oh, show us how it works. Look how fast that absorbs everyone. Now, now Snoopy's modeling her shimmer moisturizer available at the Snoopy shop in person. What does it smell like? Can you just explain the smell to us? No, it's kind of like, um, like a fruity, but like not too like obnoxious. Um, so it's like a nice, like fresh fruity smell. I love it. Can I tell you something? Speaking of fruit, can I tell you something? What? I have a new obsession. Have you ever what? had? Okay. This is me and Bay's favorite snack. We've been eating them every single night. We eat, we eat a bag every night. Have you ever had a cotton candy grape? No, I hate cotton candy. I don't like sweets either, Nicole. This shit yeah, will blow <laughs> your balls off. Lady, Crusaders, listen up. I'm telling you, I didn't know what they were. Bay knew about them, and then he told me to get them. So I went. Twelve. I had whole. I went to Whole Foods and I got them. Cotton candy grapes. You bite into them. There's you can't. There's no way impossible that you can like say how the hell did they make this? It has to be fake shit. I went on a deep dive. It's actually just a hybrid between two different grapes: a Concord grape and a white grape. It tastes just like cotton candy. What is that? She only so drops some stairs. Scared me. Um, it tastes just like cotton candy. It's it's insane how it tastes like cotton candy. It's it's, it's the most delicious grapes. Wait, they do does it like taste like cotton candy? It tastes exactly like cotton candy. Cotton candy grapes. They have them at Whole Foods. They have them at Trader Joe's. Wherever you can find them, try them. Um, this is my tip to you this week. It's my favorite snack this week, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, definitely try them. They taste delicious. Right. It's between a Concord grape and a white grape, and um, yeah, they're just like apples. You know, there's so many different apples. This is the first. A uh, grape that's ever been inbred. It's an inbred grape. They take two different uh, apples. Of, uh, oh, two you're going to turn it from your end. Yeah, because they are going to grow a grape or, or a Granny Smith grape or I mean, sorry, uh, apples. There's so many different kinds of apples. That's just inbreeding. Just like the Island Boys. These apples have been inbred for years. Now island Boys. It's happening to grapes. Uh, but yeah, Gigi Hadid was arrested for having uh, weed in Cayman Islands. Yeah, they let her go. Oh, they did? Mm hmm. It's legal where she was going and where she came from. So I don't know why it's like such a big deal. So crazy. It's just weird. God. Um, well, Sumi, this has been lovely. This has been so lovely. You have to go to a meeting because you're a businessman at Barstool. Yes. And I have to bring Sissy to Ulta because she's being so dramatic. What is she on at Ulta? She wants all these creams. She's like, she watches TikTok and she sees all these get ready with me people. And they're using like all these, um, uh, what is it? Fat elephant or pink elephant? Drunk elephant? Drunk elephant. What? She wants all these products, which are like eighty dollars. I'm like, girl, we are not doing that. I brought her Where to Target. She... Wasn't happy. You're getting her drunk elephant? No, I'm gonna get her something else. But she's like, I want to go to Ulta. I'm like, first of all, you're nine years old. Relax. You're not wearing any makeup. Like, I don't mind the face creams and like the lotions and stuff. And, um, like she's into like, uh, body scrubs now, like in the bath. So I set up her whole shower because I don't want her to like grow up too quickly. Like I want her to still be a kid and like wear unicorns. So the only thing that I did for her was do the shower stuff. So I got her a ton of like body scrubs. Um, I got her like, you know, the cute, um, shampoo conditioner, the leave in spray. I did all of that. Oh my God, but, like I it. don't really want to go to the skincare or the makeup cause she's nine years old. Oh my God. Like you got to go play in the dirt for a little bit before you decide to be a girly girl. If you go to the drunk elephant counter, I definitely get the bronzing drops. I love the bronzing drops to them. I use them every day. And I'll get it for what's that for? Oh, it's, it's just, you put it on your skin. Like right before you mix it with moisturizer, and you put it on your skin. It just gives you a bronzy glow. So you don't have to wear really makeup at all. It's just like, it's like a little tint. It's beautiful. It's, it's and it has anti-pollution drops. It in works it. It's for me. I have dark skin. Yes. It works for everyone. It's delicious. And that, I get, it's the um, bronzing drops they are always sold out though. Um, and uh -huh. then 
eye cream. I have the vitamin C eye cream from them. I have um, I have a scalp thing I like from them. Drunk Elephant's fabulous. Um, but okay. make sure to uh, check out MessyMama.com for some Messy Mama wine. MessyMamaWine.com. Make sure to book us on Cameo for a personalized shout out. If you're in uh, the New York, New Jersey area, um, go see one of the main uh, Snoopy shops and um, chin up panties down, girls. Yeah, we'll see you later, bitches. Love you. It's happening. It's happening.